Hey YouTube, what's up? It's the Brick House. And I am Unicorn. And we're playing a game called Braid. Braid. Yes, this is Braid, and it's a, an arcade game, pretty cheap, that I decided to pick up and play because it was based around puzzles. And um, the whole game focuses on time and the ability to revert back time and collecting puzzle pieces as you attempt to save your beloved princess, who is always in another castle. Sound familiar? It It is pretty familiar sounding. Um... But for some reason, it's not a toad. It's a dinosaur that tells you, uh, you know, the. It's it's not a Yoshi either. But it's a it's a dinosaur that tells you, hey, your princess is in another castle. Sorry, buddy. Uh, it's weird. Um, this is just a boss ba battle right now. Um, cl uh, climbing, crawling on these cages right here. Also very reminiscent of Mario. You'll find that a lot of enemies and things that are just throughout the game, besides the whole time thing, because Mario doesn't deal with time. Uh, are very reminiscent of the Mario series but uh, this game has very difficult puzzles where you need to fast f well not really fast forward fast forwarding is an option but rewind time and um, deal with certain obstacles and figure it out even if it seems like it's impossible it can be done you just need to think outside the box each time yeah like the ability to rewind is a really big factor in trying to complete this game because that's the entire point of the game. It's a puzzle where you need to rewind and do things at a different order or in a different manner. There's some point point in the first world you go into where you can't complete it until you get other puzzle pieces from other levels. So you need to think, how, how does this even work? I, even sometimes I had to look for a guide to help me out because I was like, I just don't understand. Yeah, this part right here took me about nine tries. I like, I don't know, I couldn't figure it out and I couldn't get the timing right. Precise timing is a big thing with this game because there are some points where you need to be like, okay, I'm calculating right now that if I jump over this guy and jump over this guy and get to here, then the timeless block, which is the glowing green block in this uh, video okay. right here, um, won't cover my uh, track and then I'll have to start the level all over again. They're trying to like sandwich you here. Look at that. Oh, well, <laughs> whopping the head. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> sometimes you'll rewind time too far back or you can't do anything besides get hit in the head so you have to rewind further and i was just having a lot of trouble here because they just kept coming at me and i was like i don't want to bounce off them they're gonna kill me i mean i die like 50 times in every level like i, I, I just can't get used to lot dying but the thing about dying is it doesn't really matter you can rewind time to the point before you died so you never die there aren't any lives there aren't you know game overs it's just get to the end of the level and if you want grab the puzzle pieces but it's really recommended to get the puzzle pieces because that's the whole challenge collect every puzzle piece and solve the puzzle yeah i still need to definitely do that uh each puzzle contains a picture probably from the main character's life but um yeah we... it talks about the the part of the story that we don't really know about yet spoilers yeah we won't give you spoilers because i think discovering Snape kills dumbledore Snape did fuck you. <laughs> um, so yeah, solving the puzzles and discovering more about the story, f completing each world, it's all really important and to eventually get to your princess and figure out what's really going on here. Why can you stop time? But figure that out for yourself. Let's talk about achievements. The first achievement we talk about is simply clearing every single level. They've all jumped it into if you get to the the door at the end, you get an achievement for completing the world. It's not really rewarding. But, yeah, cause, because you're being rewarded for things that you have to do. Well, not really just because of that, because you can skip all the puzzle pieces and still get achievements. But if you complete every single puzzle, you will get the um, the achievements for solving each world's puzzle. Um, which are, is very hard, like like I said before, I had to use guides. Uh, next, there's the 60G achievement of completing the game, which is beating through every single world available. That's pretty and rewarding. Fi and getting through the epilogue. Which is pretty rewarding because it is a tough game. And finally, the speedrun mode, which is only worth 15G. But if you complete the game in under the challenge time, you get that achievement. But it's really not worth your time. She's not worth rescuing, no. <laughs> but we're done here. Um, see you next time. See you later.